Are you trying to get us both killed, you fucking asshole? What? I send you to destroy an organization and you only make the boss disappear. Now his chief lieutenant is holed up in an apartment and he wants to speak to the feds. Whoa, hold on. An organization? No, you fucking idiot! I paid you to do a man's job, you amateur, you fucking boy! No, 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 no. You sent me to kill one guy. One guy who would put you in prison. Bullshit! <sighs> All right, I'll tell you what, genius. I'll tell you fucking what. Tell it to the judge. Tell him I only sent you to kill one guy, so it ain't your fault. <laughs> I wonder what he'll say. Maybe he'll let you walk, on account of you being brain dead and totally fucking <laughs> mentally retarded. Maybe he will. Either way, you're screwed. Whoa, 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 whoa. Wait. <laughs> Look, you gotta do this for me. For us. Come on, you idiot. One more. That guy's a fucking lowlife. He means nothing. If there is a god, and he loves us, if there is, he'd want this cunt dead. The guy sells heroin to kids. The world is full of bad people. But we've got a lot to lose. I don't have anything to lose, Mr. McCreary. <sighs> How much? You know my price. No. Five. You call. Cool. I don't care. You bastard. Okay. Now, the guy lives in an apartment on Denver between V and W. He's holed up there pretty tight. I left a rifle for you in the trunk of a car at the corner of Albany and M. So go there, give me a call. Here we are, man. End of the line. Found the place. Okay, the mopes hold up in his apartment. It's on the fourth floor on the east side of the street. Go up onto the roof of the building opposite to get a shot at him. What if he isn't standing by the window? Then use your damn imagination to get him to the window. Jesus! Call me when it's done. Look at these. It's, 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 it's buildings like these scattered all around. City that you just walk into. You get to the hey, you can't shit. treat me like that. Sick. It's like, come on, man. Bro, lay off. Stop. The left side of my face has gone numb. Who are you calling for, 
burger shot. The Heart Stopper, the all new tower of a meal at Burger Shot. It's the six pound burger. Oh, yeah, I forgot all about that, bro. Like, you can either shoot the satellite, you can call the number, you can pick up his phone. I forgot what else you can do. Let me see something else. Well, there's a lot of different things you can do in this mission. I think they can actually go in his apartment. You can probably go in this nigga's apartment, bro. Now that I see the doors open right there. That's sick. I I mean, the only, only way I ever did this mission was by, what's that? Probably break his window when he was walking to his bedroom. You know what I'm saying? That's sick. That's fucking sick. How you can just. How many ways you can do this mission? What are you gonna do with this one? We have shot fire in East Holland. Hopefully, I'm gonna come back. I can remember what I looked. Yeah, I'm gonna go back and actually look at the uh, house. That's pretty fucking sick. I forgot, bro. Like, that's why I play these games. That's why so I'm playing the goatee games. I mean, hopefully, I get big enough and I have a, a more interactive audience where I can tell me what games I want me to play. You guys, you guys, Granny? out there get this message and realize that there are better paths to take i'm not interested in your sermon mr mccreary let's not pretend that this was anything other than business there's nothing wrong with admitting that you've done some good the community thanks you one percent better if a hundred people manage that it'd be a hundred percent Where you want to go? Take me to Iron Street. Okay, here we are, Bucko. Come in. You're late. And please calm down out there. Excuse me? I didn't give you a free pass to act like an asshole. You're bringing a lot of heat. Hanging out with bad people, doing bad things, making idiot moves. I'm an idiot. I move. True. But the last thing I need is you getting caught. Why? Because I lead them to you in some plea bargain thing? To me? Who am I? There's a hundred guys in this building alone who fit my description. Middle-aged men, paunchy, glasses. You bring them here? What's this? Empty office? Leased to a man who died in the last days of Vietnam? Ooh. Call me up. Huh. My number never existed. No, I'm not too worried about that. I mean, I think you'll end up on a flight deck, but that's your business. Then what? Because you're good. Because I need you to keep being good. And you're getting distracted. Oh. Oh. Funny. Oh. Yeah, good. I need someone neutralized. Guy is moving a lot of money for terrorists. Whatever. It doesn't really matter. The guy's gotta go, but I need to know his movements first. How? I've got something that's going to help you. Head over to Albany Avenue in Lansing and give me a call. Go! Can I get paid for this? Can I get a medal? Did you get a medal in your last war? What did you give Michelle? For me? Michelle? Karen? We gave her a life back. We didn't play too rough. We gave her some money. 
She still works for us. What about me? We'll discuss that later. Where can I take so, you? So, we need to go to Union Drive East. I know a fun way to go. The fascists won't let me drive there, but I can let you off nearby if that's okay. Nearly there? You're about to see a chopper taking off from Civilization Plus. You need to get hold of it. Follow it. Wait until it touches down. Then, when the passengers are out, get in and fly to the airport in Duke. Okay then. What if the song is actually copyrighted? Keep rising to the top. All my niggas keep rising to the top. We gon' get this all we got. Indian guy or uh, yeah, it's like that's ego. You don't want to get thought of as the Indian guy or a fucking Minecraft girl. And yes, the Minecraft parody girl. That's a that's a girl, the little reptile, whatever the fuck the little girl name is. Yeah, that's a, that's a little girl. I thought I always thought it was a nine year old boy. Sixteen year old girl. Water I just fell in a hole. No crying. Minecraft, 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 this is my favorite game. When you get slain, remember my name. Shit! What the fuck? Fuck! Learn to shoot straight, asshole! Get in the, get in the nigga, huh? 
Remember my name. I haven't flown one of these things since the war! The nigga let me know. My men have the chopper. They're going to strip it down and put it back together. It should be ready for you when you need it. Why would I need it? The guy I told you about. The guy you need to eliminate. The only way you'll get to him is in the air. I'll call you when we have a window. Goodbye. All I'm saying is that we'll all be judged in the end. All of your brothers. And you, Patrick. And you, Kate. Who's gonna judge Kate? What would she win if they did, Virgin of the Year? Oh. I'm thinking maybe you can catch VD for both Fuck of us, you, Patrick. Fuck you, Katie. Language. Sorry, Ma. Ho ho, there he is. Mr. Fucking Crazy Man. You want a beer? No. Good, because I ain't fucking got none. Very funny. Maybe if being a drunkard doesn't work out, you can be a comedian. Fuck off. <laughs> and you, Kate, fuck off out of here. But aren't you going to introduce us? Sure. This is Nico, some drug dealing to fucking generate from some armpit in Eastern Europe. That's my ma. Nice to meet you. Hi. And this is my sister, lovely lass, scared to bits of life, and fucking off out of here right now before I throw a fucking bottle at her. Patrick. Nice to meet you. Likewise. See you around. Bye. What a girl. I think she likes you. Word to the wise, though, she don't put out. Which is convenient, because if she did, I'd have to kill you. Understood. Good lad. You got any drugs on you, boy? No. Nope. Shit. Well, probably a good thing. We got some business to take care of. Come on. We've got business out at the docks in Algonquin. Where's your car, man? We need a car. Yes? What's that? Natural. Okay, then. Coming in and we're the welcoming party. Who are we welcoming and what have they got that makes this drive worth the effort? We're welcoming some of our cousins from the east. 
but we don't know what it is that they're bringing in, exactly. All we know is that it's worth a dollar or two. My brother Gerald had word about it through this Italian, Ray Vicino. He gave us the heads up in exchange for a cut of the haul. What makes you think that the information is legit? First off, I don't trust this guinea for a second. We wouldn't be working for him if our family still had the same status it did back in the day. But that's another story. Am I going to hear this story? Anyone who hangs around my family hears about the old days. Just wait. Oh yeah, Ray Vicino's a slimy motherfucker. The one thing you can rely on him for is greed. I'm too small time to be worth setting up, so the one angle he can be playing is the cash one. Makes sense. Yeah, he'll probably try to give us a fraction of whatever this stuff's worth, but it'll be a fun night. Depends on what you think is fun. Stealing, gunfire, car chases, all the usual stuff. Usual for you and me, maybe. The general population, I'm not... General population? That's a prison term. You ever been inside? Not in this country. In Europe. They do things different there. Not so much of the fun in the shower that you guys have here in America. Must have been a real disappointment. Bet a guy like you thought he was gonna be real popular with the lifers. Did no one pay you any attention? As I said, the whole prison bitch thing is an American phenomenon. It don't happen on the other side of the ocean. Well, you gotta do some time over here. See what you've been missing out on in your chased European jails. I'm going to pass on that. Send me a postcard if you'll do some time. Will do. Might even put you on the visitors list. Ah, I'd be fucking touched. You'd be touched if you did some time, that's for sure. We would see if they'd be able to touch me. I got some moves. You're a good man, Nico. I like you. Not in a fun in the showers kind of way. You know, a male bonding about to go rob some people kind of way. I think I know what you're saying. That wasn't your fault, Nico. I smacked a lot bigger assholes than you. Shooting on side, all right? Watch it. See you later. Here we are. What's the plan? We get up on the roof of that warehouse. There should be a good view of the dock so we can scope that shit out. Okay, Follow me, Nico. Don't they make these places easier to break into?
This is where the deal's meant to be going down. And here's the boat, right on time. See those boxes on the back of the boat? They must be bringing clone meds. Meds? Yeah, stuff that'll stop housewives cutting their wrists and make their husbands get wood. Meds. Molly, sedatives, antidepressants, meds. Okay, how do we do it? We'll wait until the truck is loaded, then we'll take it. Simple as that. I'll cover you from up here while you're down on the ground cleaning up. These better be some good fucking pills. The housewives better be grateful. All right, Nico, you drive. I'll take out anyone who tries to follow us. We're going up to Ray's lockup in Westminster off of Union Drive West.
The stuff all in there? Sure is. All safe and sound. Whole truckload of it. A lot of wives and mistresses are gonna be happy when their men get a hold of those, huh? Whole city's gonna be hard in a few days' time. Who's this? That's my boy, Nico. He's an absolute savior. Couldn't have done it without him. Nico! Come over here! You work for these mick bastards. Fucking guinea. I work for whoever's paying. I might give you a call sometime. Get in, Packy. Hey, I'll catch you around, man. I want to go to...